Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Retired for Life. I'm your host, Brian, and we've got something a little bit different today. So I received this in the mail yesterday, so we're going to uh, cut this open and have a look at it. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but let's uh, have a look at this together. Yes, that's what I thought. I did a video a little while ago, I'll put a, a link up here to that video, about a uh, Guard Pro trail camera, the E9 um, Wi-Fi camera. And they must have seen it. They contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in doing another video on another camera. And I said, sure, why not? I like their cameras, I really like the E9. So here we have the Guard Pro a60 camera. So we're going to uh, unbox this together and see how it looks. And to go with the camera, solar panel. All right, let's have a closer look at these. Okay, so let's have a look at the solar panel here first. I was very curious about this. Okay, so there's the panel. And it comes with a tree mount as well. And the cord for attaching to the back of the panel. And there are different voltage settings here for the panel. That's cool. Okay. Let's put that aside. And have a look at the camera. So we've got a tree strap, cable, instruction manual, and the camera itself. So this camera is the Guard Pro A60 4K non-cellular camera. They have three versions of this camera, which we will talk about. Okay, so we've got that plugged into the camera. Let's see if the camera will turn on. Yes. Okay, so the battery compartment is empty. So right now, it is running strictly off of the uh, solar cell. So what do we need here? We need an SD card. And then we'll go through the menu and have a look at that. So I'm just going through the instructions here for the solar panel. And they are saying leave it in full sunlight or I can plug it in using the uh, adapter cable and put a charge into it right away. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go inside, plug this thing in, and get a charge in it before we go any farther. All right, I'll be back. All right, we've got the solar panel in charging. So while it's charging, I put some regular batteries in the compartment here. It takes eight batteries. You do not want those batteries in when you're... Uh, when you're using the solar panel, that could cause issues. This should be empty. So 
I've got a chip in it. We've got batteries in. Let's turn this on and we will have a look at uh, what the display tells us. Okay, you can see it's pointing down here and our display is on. Let's go to menu. So we will look at mode and I want it and so there is time lapse and hybrid. So I'm going to leave it in motion detection. That's what I want photo or video. So I want just video, uh, photo quality. This has a uh, 64 megapixel quality for a photo. So really, really high quality if you're looking to do photos. Burst, we don't really care about that. Video quality. Okay. So right now we have it uh, set for 4K, which is 2160p. Language we know is okay. Sound I want on. The uh, Guard Pro cameras seem to be very good at picking sound up, as you've probably been able to tell from my other trail camera videos video format so I'm going to leave it in uh, mp4 detection delay so I want this at zero I want this picking things up right away if there's something in around the camera I want it to constantly pick it up as quickly as possible so I set that to zero And sensors, we're going to set that to high. Now, when it's cooler, from what I understand, you want to put that in medium or it will be picking up too much. So we've got that in high. False trigger suppression. So that, I'll have to look that up to see what that is, but I'm assuming that's... Uh, something that you're not really interested in uh, triggering the camera. So I'm going to leave that in low. So uh, we'll stay there. Side motion sensors. Now I want these side motion sensors on. Motion test. Time lapse interval. We're not using time lapse. Time lapse is turned on. Time zone, we're going to go Canada, Eastern. I think that's right. Date and time. So, Date format, month, day, year, that's how I like it. Time format, 12 hours. Camera name, I have that turned off. Info strip. I'm not a big fan of having the info strip goings on the bottom of the camera, so I'm just going to turn that off. Loop record, I don't want it recording over top of things already captured, so that is turned off. Operation hours, I want it to operate all the time, so I'm not going to do anything with that. Password, not worried about that. Format SD card, so because it's a new card to this camera, I do want to format it. So we're going to OK that. All right, looks like our... Uh, Chip is formatted. There's your factory reset. Advanced settings. We're not going to go into that right now. There's our version and contact information. All right, basically, the camera is ready to go. So all we need is to have a, a full charge into our uh, 
solar panel and we're going to go set it up. Let's take a minute to talk about the features that this camera has. So I went on to GuardPro's website and looked up the A60 4K camera. This is their newest camera. Um, the other camera I have got uh, is the E9, which is a Wi-Fi camera. Now this one you can get in uh, two different versions of cellular. Now because of where I live, I don't have a reliable cell phone signal out here, so there was no point in me getting a cell phone camera. So what it says about this camera, um, ultra clear 4K video, it has the uh, Sony Stravis sensor, which is supposed to be a really good sensor. It's got a new design for closing and for gripping onto the tree. That's pretty cool. It's a 2.4 inch color screen on the inside. You guys saw that screen. And it has uh, a stealth night vision, which is uh, a no-glow uh, night vision for capturing the nighttime photos. So it looks to be a really capable camera. Now the other versions of this camera is the uh, A60P cellular camera that allows you to uh, be able to check activity on the camera from your cell phone and that type of thing and you can do all the settings and whatnot through the app for the camera and the other cell phone version that they have is the A60P Live Max. Now this would make for a really good security camera because you can use your cell phone and connect to the camera besides having access to all the settings and anything that the camera has already captured. You can actually watch live through the camera with your cell phone. So that's a pretty cool option if you're looking for a camera for security reasons or if you just want to see what's going on in front of your camera. Oh, I wish I had cell phone reception out here. So that's pretty much what we need to know about for the camera. It does have a really nice seal that goes around here. Clamps shut very securely. We'll take all these covers off of the uh, sensors and the lenses. And as soon as we've got a charge in the solar cell, we will go position this camera and give it a week and see how it does. One of the things I want to do is I'm going to uh, get the E9 cellular camera, which also has the uh, Sony chip in it. And we're going to mount this camera and the E9 camera right over top of each other on the same tree. So they're basically capturing the same thing. Now that camera, the E9 is not a 4K, but it still has really good picture. So we will uh, put the cameras one on top of the other for a week and then go back and see how it does. I'm curious to see how this does on the solar cell and then we can compare the uh, the quality of the capture between the E9 and the A60. So that will be interesting to have a look at. All right, when the solar cell is ready, we're going to head out and get those cameras into position. All right, folks, so there we are. We've got our two cameras set up. My solar cell is up here, and I put some tape around the tree here just because I didn't want any dangling wires uh, that could get caught on anything like a bear's claw. So that's all taped up and secured. Both cameras are pointing generally in the same direction. They're not dead nuts exactly the same, but pretty close. So it'll do for our, our purposes for this test. So we've got the E9 on the bottom and the uh, A60 on the top here. So this is, this is the 4K camera. So all we have left to do is to turn them on. 
So don't forget, if you're interested in the Guard Pro cameras, go back and have a look at the video I did for the uh, E9. It's a pretty comprehensive video as to how this camera functions. And if you're interested in getting one of the Guard Pro cameras, check out the link in the description. Uh, use that link and then there is a promo code there that you can also use to get you a nice discount on whatever it is that you buy from Guard Pro. It doesn't have to be this camera specifically. It can be anything that they have got on their site. So follow that link, use the promo code and get yourself a nice little discount. So we'll be back in a week's time check both these cameras see how they did so you should see a video for these fingers crossed coming out next weekend so that's going to be it for today's video folks remember to be good to each other stay safe out there and we will see you out on the trails the next time all right just power these both up and we're done